welcome back everybody to Zalanka here on FS22. So we are done with the soybean fields. Uh, I just finished those up and started the harvest on the sunflowers. Um, so I actually need to bring these soybeans over to the market. Which is actually right there. Last time we ran into a little issues with me taking some loan. I thought it was going to be short term, um, but it ended up I ended up not being able to make enough to pay it off right away. So first priority is to get rid of that because I really want to play through this with no debt. I feel like it would just make it so much easier. So this soybean harvester goes straight to that and we're trying to get rid of that as soon as possible. Should get a decent amount. I'm guessing probably around 30, 35,000. Or not. <laughs> 22,000. Jeez, how do I get out of here? Drive around this way, I guess. Okay, so let's see how close that can get us. Okay, so we had 30. Okay. So debt is gone. We're down to $6,000. Hopefully that'll last us until we can sell some more soup. Um, but for now, I'm going to go pick up the sunflowers. I also have the a worker going on the um, subsoiling to get that field ready. And then another worker very slowly working on making ridges. And I know the ridges technically are just aesthetic, but I think I'm just going to keep up doing them just because I kind of like the look of it. So uh, we're going to do it. All right. How much do you have? Oh. You're probably going to finish this whole field, so. Um, okay, so let's do some planning. I'm going to check the prices. The soup. So carrot and red beets. Well, the problem is, I guess we haven't gotten a whole year yet, so we don't have the full, the full pricing. hoping maybe March, April, those go up a little bit. Um, yeah, we don't have too much currently made and our carrots are just gonna run out here somewhat soon. Red beets, I feel like we're good for quite a while. So, um, then in terms of fields, I wanna try to make all three. Um, I'm thinking of keeping 52 actually as sunflowers. Um, it's not going to end up being too much in terms of leaders, but I think I might as well keep that, you know, it's, it's kind of more square and the more square it is, um, the harder it is to get lots of, the slower it is to, to harvest because the, the harvester has to turn around more times and the more it has to turn around the longer it takes um so probably use this field for not for red beets um just because we have so many from last time maybe i do parsnips and then move the red beets over to 51 and then do 53 and 54 for carrots i think that's the plan um we're gonna have to cultivate those fields as well so so that'll be done over the winter probably as we're selling some crop and or not crop but some products some soup and yeah go from there 
Let me go ahead and pick some of this up. And I'm not going to worry about selling the sunflower oil. I think potatoes and chips and all that is actually closer, like decently close, because we're going to, I feel like we're going to make a lot of money off the soup. So I think I'm just going to bring it to the factory, have it get produced, um, put it on distributing, and then just kind of let it, let it sit there. Um, putting it on distributing since there's currently nowhere to distribute it to will actually just keep it like within the the thing the uh, factory and not put it out so that's that's kind of what I want so let's actually do that now turn on sunflower distributing yeah I mean we're not gonna get too much we're gonna get 3,000 liters or so. But by the time we're ready for chips, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have enough oil to at least get started, and then we can kind of look at some other fields. I do want to buy all the fields in this little area first. Um, so probably the next one will be 50 and 89. And then I think I'm going to try to keep like the more square fields, the less, you know, the ones that aren't as long. Keep those for like regular crops like potatoes and sunflowers and stuff like that. So that's what these two might be. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Or maybe these two are good for potatoes. And I can just take that divider out, do all the potatoes up there, do some more soybean or uh, sunflowers down here. Something like that. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy 32, just because I don't think that's going to really help us too much. Um, and then after these fields, possibly come down here. Maybe get some of these more square fields up here. Um, yeah, we could really go anywhere. I mean, I don't want to... I don't need to expand too much, but... You know, the more we expand, the, the faster we're going to be able to... You know make some money and i feel like um you know the more of the red vegetable crops we get um i want to be able to try to max out or close to max out dropping them off to each production and since they can hold so much i feel like we have to make a lot of crap for that not sure if all that made sense but um you know you'll, you'll see it as it happens as well so It'll all make sense eventually. All right. It's dropped off. And yeah, one of the uh, the next things I do need to buy is stuff to get our um our score better our uh, precision farming score so that'll be that'll be priority number one once we start making some money let's go ahead and return this stuff I drop off the last 2500 liters i know i missed a little bit of soybean there but not too worried about it. Might as well just drive this. Um, actually, I need to go to the store for this and bring the configuration back to the flatbed to get it ready to sell some soup.
also drive it over to the suit factory too. We do need to get some more powerful tractors. We really only have the one that's up in the 200s. So that one currently making ridges is really, really struggling. It's going like two miles an hour um, because it's it's pretty weak, but it is moving. So I figured it's still getting something done. The other tractor is using the subsoiler right now, so didn't have didn't have enough tra strong tractors to, to get everything done. So, all right, let's actually. Uh, I was gonna try to back in, but this one's hard to back in. So maybe I'll just wait here. All right, this guy's about half done. Um, he's going to keep slowly going along. Probably move him over to the other field once he's done too. But um, I don't want to skip any months until these guys are done because... Um, well, I guess it shouldn't matter because I don't have any loans, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and skip a month. Um, let's go to the house. Let's see. Let's go to the next month. We can check the check the prices and kind of just make a guess this year in terms of when to sell. I'm probably going to sell multiple times. Okay, so there's a little bit of costs, you know, production costs and stuff. But not too much. I really need to get something to Somewhere to put these. Probably stick with the... I'm not going to buy it now, but I'm just curious. Probably keep the Zalanka Premium Expansion um, sheds. Just to keep the look. Yeah, that one's a little too small. I mean, this one, I think, is the one that's normally here. That's not too bad. This one, I feel like, doesn't have good entrances. This is probably the best. I'll probably do something like this. Um, maybe one of these as well. And then um, I'm going to need to get a silo. Probably do one of these from the... Oh, this is a little big. I would just do one of the typical, something like that. Of course, I might not even need a silo. I just bring everything straight to the, um, straight to the production facilities. But yeah, we're we'll gonna to get some of that later. Uh, this is filling up pretty good. Let's check the price. Yeah, it keeps going down. About 2,000, about 2,000. Okay, I guess we can keep waiting. All right, let's see what January looks like. think if we can get it above above 2000 that would be good um what does it say the max price was in 18 but... hmm. that's not it so january did go up february will go way down I am tempted just to sell. I think I'm going to sell. i going to sell what I have, um, make a little bit of money, and we're going to just have to watch it for next year and try to figure out when to do it next year.
Mostly carrots coming out. Alright, how much do we have left? Oops, some flower oil is done, so turn that off. Still have a decent amount left. Okay, I think everything, yep, everything that's out is out, so I have to come back for that those last eight pallets. If I can turn around. Alright, and where are we going? Let's go back up here. So the farmer's market or farmer's market. All right, looks like the farmer's market, which is right there. <laughs> Forgot I had these boxes here. Got to remember to pick those up before we harvest again. this one. Yeah. $74,000. Wow. That's a lot of good money. That is pretty good. We should be able to get some good farming. Uh, farming precision farming uh, equipment for that. How are we doing on carrots? Okay, so we're going to run out of carrots here pretty soon. We might actually be able to get away with not even planting some red beets, but I think I'm still going to. i just put it on that small field. Um, that that way we don't get, you know, try to even them out a little bit, I guess. And I have to kind of pay attention to how much we get off of each field and see if I can, you know, evenly distribute them. That way we don't have too much of one. Because if we have too much and it doesn't fit in there, we have to just sell the crop as is. It's definitely not going to make as much money that way. All right. Um, let's actually bring you back. Hundred and ten dollars? Hundred ten thousand dollars? Hundred ten. Big difference. Only three zeros. Alright, let's get back to the store. Without crashing into everything, maybe? Or you can pass the store. Still feel like I trying to figure out where I'm going on this map. All right, so let's actually just leave this. You know, let's put this over by our. I was gonna leave it here, but it makes no sense. Excuse me. All right, leave that there. So we need. Let's look at the field. Keep going. Um, I mean, we're gonna need a weeder. I'm probably just going to get a spray, a sprayer. Um, what else do we need for precision farming? We need, well, the tillage is kind of going to kind of be what it is, I suppose. And we need something to spread nitrogen and pH. So let's see if there's any sales. Ooh. actually some good things i mean the fence isn't strong enough really this is a really good buy um but actually we don't need that at all so never mind um this would be nice too but we don't have enough for that and obviously well, it's sugar beets need potatoes okay so there's nothing really good to get i think i'm going to start with um get the I was just checking to see if I put the mods on here for this spot spraying. 
So I can get one of those two. Oh. I usually like to get this one. I mean, it's a lot cheaper too. But yeah, I'll probably get this one. Um, but not, not yet. First, I want to get fertilizer sprayer. I get the Kubota light. Doesn't hold as much, but it spreads a lot wider of the line. I'm gonna do that. Um, let's keep it Kubota colors. Yeah. Let's bring it into the nasty color. Yeah, might as well up the capacity. It's only 3,000. All right, so almost 20 or almost 30. Should be good. Nope. Um, I think I'm going to need another weight. Might as well just buy a weight for each tractor. Just in case. Um, let's get a decent. 2.5 tons, that should work. It's funny, I usually don't even bother with weights, but it seems like everything in this series is super heavy, so... Might as well just have a weight on the tractor. Alright, let's do lime first. Um, so let me just go ahead and buy... A whole set of lime. Won't be able to hold it all, but I mean, lime is pretty cheap, so not too worried about it. We still got seventy-five thousand dollars. It's doing, still doing pretty good. I'm very happy with the way this is working out. I mean, again, I am on normal mode, so in my head, it almost feels like cheating, but I don't know. Just figured we play on normal and get the series going a little faster. The next series I do, though, will definitely be on hard mode, hard economy. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm doing next. I have a few different ideas, but um, I won't start the next one until one of these other ones I have finishes. So my guess is it'll be either this one or Oberkirkheim that finish first. Um, there's just so much left to do in the Bloomfield save. Um, I feel like that's going to be longer term. So, all right. Actually, um, one more thing I want to check. I think I have the... So you can buy the... Um, oh, what's it called? The sensors for the nitrogen uh, I might I might not even worry about that yet um no it doesn't do the same thing for mine assuming all the fields are gonna need some oh I am I can go way over here I'm not used to such a wide I'm spread Continue onto this field, might as well. Actually, I just saw. We can see some progress. He's just about to finish, so I want to get him started on the next one. Or, or swap out the tractors once the other guy is done um, with his subsoiling. Just so this tractor isn't struggling as much and taking so long. Alright. Yeah, you're done. Now you get to start another one. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this to this field. 
excuse me, sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to, I mean, I don't really have a subsoiler. I could, I could buy a cultivator, I suppose, um, to cultivate this, but yeah, I might have to do that. Or I might as well just use the subsoiler. I know it's not good for the precision farming, but it should be okay. But yeah, I need to do that for this field to get it ready for planting vegetables. Um, actually, we're right at the end of the video, so I'll probably do a little bit of this in between. Um, just kind of get the get the lime down on the fields while the other workers kind of prep the. Um, I can actually do this while I'm talking, but yeah, while the other workers kind of prep the prep the fields for planting and get ready for that and. Hopefully save a little bit of money so we can um, so we can buy stuff for the weeds, and buy potentially some stuff for planting. Um, if I can't buy the stuff I need to plant the sunflowers, I'll probably just rent. Um, it's not a huge deal, um, but I do want to make sure I don't run out of money, so I am going to be a little careful with how close how close money wise we get. So. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep going with these and bring you guys back here in a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Have a good one.